Next presenter will show you how to use uh, Point Cloud and uh, Archicad together. Please welcome Armin Schweigart. Stage is yours. So, welcome everybody. Um, I'm sorry, I wanted to make the presentation in Finnish, but uh, I failed with the first spelling, the first three words. So, I decided to do it in English. I hope it's okay for you. So, um, I'm Armin Schwenkert. I'm the owner of the and the CEO of the BIMEM GmbH. BIMEM, what uh, does this mean? Um, we develop BIM measurement solutions for Archicad. And uh, that's the reason for our company's name, which is Building, Information, Modeling, and a small m is standing for measurement. We are also a third-part developer for Graphisoft Germany. In shop design, we make add-ons for uh, big companies like uh, Media Saturn and uh, Hornbach. And uh, we were founded in 2011. So our point cloud solution is called uh, point cap for BIM. It's a combination or it's a package of uh, point cap. Uh, point cap is a software for, uh, is the best software for elevating and uh, registrating point, uh, point clouds from every laser scanner. And of course we combine it with the best BIM software in the world, which is Archicad. And uh, our BIM M tool for Archicad is uh, the tool which is connecting the two things together, these two things together. So you probably will ask, why do we need another software for point clouds? Because we have uh, the point cloud already in Archicad. Um, and uh, Victor, no misunderstandings, please. We love the point cloud in Archicad, and we are very thankful that we have the point cloud in Archicad, but we also have some issues with it. So there is a limited size of point clouds, of points in, in Archicad. Um, has uh, someone of you already tried to work with the point cloud in Archicad? Some hands up? Oh yeah, there's some of them, okay. Um, and you probably have found out that um, about 700 million points, one gigabyte of uh, um, uh, size of the file, uh, probably you can, you can import and then Archicad is getting to struggle and it's getting um, slow down your modeling process. And then there's the try and error principle. Uh, when loading the point clouds, you never know, does it work? Is the point cloud too big? Is it too small? Is the density okay? So there you're not really good inform informed about that from Archicad. And it only um, supports two formats, the E557 and XYZ format. And then, um, have you ever tried to print out this point cloud in Archicad? Then you also will get some problems. So um, the point cloud cannot put on layouts, and so it's not printable. And then at the end, it's hard to find the right point. So when you have a look at this picture, then yeah, to find here the right points to model it, it will be a little bit difficult. So uh, what is point cap for BIM? It's, um, it's a hybrid solution consisting of, Archica, of point cap and Archicad. Um, the two software solution is connected through our BIM tool, and it's a perfect combination for evaluating big point cloud data. So um, our projects or the projects for uh, scanning projects are uh, in the middle, about 10 billion points. So that's a little bit more than Archicad can handle. And we support any kind of um, point cloud formats. It doesn't matter from which scanner it's coming, from Regal, Leica, um, Faro, Zabrevo. So it also doesn't matter if it's coming from a terrestrial scanner or from a mobile scanner or from a drone. So we can all combine these point clouds in uh, one software and there is no limitation of the point of the uh, point cloud size. So I will show you this and uh, how it works in a small video. Um, so we have uh, different methods on the left side. Now you can see how easy it is to make 
uh, layout in point cap, so we cut the point cloud. We point cap calculates um, high resolution author photo, and then we can vectorize it. And this is a very very cool thing. And this vectorized uh, layout we import to Archicad. This will work automatically in the future, and our tool will also then educate the lines as walls and make the walls automatically. As long as um, this function is not available, we can work with, the, um, with these lines here in, in Archicad. But the main workflow from our solution is that we model from, um, from this panorama view, you can see on the left side, and uh, on the right side, Archicad, and the middle, you can see our BIMM tool. And you choose only the wall tool in Archicad, and then you have our easy to measure functions here in the middle. And with this, you only you, you click the points you need in the point cloud, and this on the other side is a point cloud view. Each dot there is a, has a 3D information, and so you can easily model uh, every um, wall here, for example, this is installation wall to, to Archicad. So it's very intuitive in, in using, and most impressing, it's uh, with Windows. So this is real time now, and you can count the seconds how long we need to model exactly this window with the window frame, um, with the niche for the heating, and the size also. So now we click the points for the niche, and you see here down there's the command for this. And now we need only three, uh, two points, diagonal measured in the point cloud, and bing, it's here in Archicad, exactly with the, uh, with the correct measure on the, and on the right place. With the door, it's uh, working, of course, similar. You choose the door from the Archicad library, and uh, so we, we, you can choose each door, it doesn't matter which one, um, so, and yeah, then click three points on the, in the panorama, and you have the door in Archicad. So then creating slabs is also a very simple thing. We just have to measure the top level of the, of the slab, and uh, as we have already the, uh, the rooms, we can click with the magic tool into the room, and we have the right size, and so we get very easy the right height of the floor in the different rooms. So then our tool is also perfect to um, model roof chairs. So this is always when there you have slanted things, and so it's a little bit uh, more difficult. Here you can see an example of uh, modeling um, a column, which is a rectangle column. Um, we click there the top level of the column and the base level. And then, with three points, it's placed on the correct position. So we have for nearly all the Archicad um, tools, uh, we have connections with our BIM tool. And uh, you can see now how easy it is to measure this, um, this beam. You get to measure the width with two points and the height. Even when it's slanted, we need three points, and it's automatically um, put into the default settings in Archicad, and with two points, it's placed on the correct position. Then we also can position position uh, positioning objects like uh, bath tubes, and here you can see on the right side you can see the, uh, the auto photo which we have on the left side also. So with our BIM importer, we can bring these auto photos as a uh, basic as a, uh, um, we put this normally on a trace in a, tr a worksheet in in Archicad, and then we use the trace to see okay the ground floor, and then we can easily model all these uh, objects, and we see um, if it it's placed on the on the right position, and also the heating from the window we have seen before uh, when the Archicad object is uh, parametric in the, also in the height. You can also use this function measure top level, base level for this. And within seconds, you have the right um, heating placed on the correct place. 
So then we have uh, some more tools, some more uh, functions, modules in PointCap. And here you can see an example of a mesh, which uh, we can, which PointCap is calculating. And then we bring it into Archicad. Um, and so we have the uh, terrain models um, very easily in Archicad. And this is an example uh, we've also done. It's um, like, a, like a cave. Then you can calculate uh, volumes uh, within seconds. And the delta module is a very powerful tool. You can um, analyze devitations from horizontal and vertical planes, and now the next version from point cap also from slanted uh, planes for uh, floor surfaces and facades. And they will be displayed in different colors, as you can see here. And we have the model on the right side in Archicad. And the, del the delta uh, results are locked in a PDF document, which you can overhand to your client. Then a very, also very powerful and useful tool is the web export. You can hand out the point cloud to your client, and your client can measure and navigate in the point cloud in any browser they are using. So um, they don't need a software to measure in the point cloud or to handle the point cloud. They can go into the panorama view and can measure their points and um, take uh, yes and can navigate through the point cloud. Then we have a point cloud export. So we also export the point cloud to Archicad to, con to control the model and uh, the point cloud. Um, and we can um, selective uh, Maybe we can make sections or single scans from, um, from the original scan. And through various filters, the point cloud size is reduced so that it can be efficiently uh, imported to Archicad. And you have uh, not too big cloud in Archicad then. So before I say uh, thank you, um, we have um, whose interest I have woken up now for our solution. We have a workshop tomorrow at 12 at the MAD uh, office. Uh, so you are welcome, you're invited to come there if you want to see more about our solution. And when you already uh, want to purchase our solution, you can um, go to uh, Hanu Mehunen. He's uh, the responsible person at MAD for our tools. So thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>